Hey everybody, this is Editor and welcome to another video in my series on creating shapes or drawing in Python. And from the previous videos you saw that we've been um, drawing squares and triangles, pentagons and hexagons. So just some four basic shapes that we've been drawing. Um, and we use, uh, let's call it a drawing machine, because we use the loop um, with a variable in the range of four for four sides for the square for three squares, three sides for the triangle, five for the pentagon, six for the hexagon and so on. So for today I'm going to show you how to change the color. So let's say we, uh, by default it's black, but let's say we want to change the color to, um, what shall we make it, red. Let's make it red. So to do that you have to just type in red and remember you have to also spell it like the Americans do. There's no U for color. So you change the color red and if we run that hopefully it's going to work and it should be a red square that comes up so uh, yep, there we go so that's a red square so let's close that very very easy just a simple command color red and let me go now to the next one triangle I'm going to make this maybe a let's make it a blue a blue um, triangle there we go and F5 run it and that should be a blue triangle coming up with a blue line there we go blue triangle so I can close that and just to continue I'm going to say color and, it, and we'll make this one purple maybe purple there we go and F5 to save it and that should be a purple pentagon coming up and there we go, purple pentagon, close that, close that, and last one, uh, color, and I have no idea what color we're going to make this, uh, green, let's make this green, a green hexagon, so we F5 to save, and that should give us a green hexagon in a short while. So that's how you add color, that's green. Some of you might say, oh, but the lines are slightly too thin, or... Um, you didn't show us how to fill it and things like that. So um, let's first of all, we'll go back to our uh, square and we'll make the color red and we're going to change the pen size to maybe, I think by default it's one anyway, so I'm just going to say pen size, open close bracket and let's make that three, I think, if I remember correctly, F5 and now theoretically it should be slightly thicker. There we go. It goes up to 10. Um, so you can make it anywhere from from 1 to... Well, by default is 1, so you can make it all the way up to 10. I'm going to leave that one... Uh, actually, I'm going to change that to a 2. F5 it, so you can see um, that size. And that's the size. Yep, you're happy. Cool. And then we're going to make the size of the, the next one. Pen size. We'll make that... Uh, four, then size four, and we run that one for the triangle, and that's going to give us um, a thicker one. There we go, a thicker one, and then for this one, we'll go to six or seven actually. Then size seven, and I, I think you get the idea now. It's going to go thicker and thicker and thicker while it's running, there we go, so that's getting thicker and thicker and then the last one, we'll just make 10 so you can see what that looks like so uh, we'll save it, ok, and that's going to show us now um, the thickest I think it goes is all the way up to 10 cool, so uh, and now I'm just going to get rid of these ones, I'm going to go to the square now on its own and I'm just going to show you how we can change. So we've got the pen size. We don't actually need the pen size because we're going to fill it. So I'm just going to get rid of this one. Um, one way you can, if you want to play with it later, I'm just going to, I'm just going to do that so it doesn't read it. Comment it out. And to fill it, you're going to have to say begin underscore fill open close bracket. There's no value that goes in there. And then at the end, you're going to have to say end underscore full open close bracket so those two commands will ensure that whatever is inside here 
whatever the shape is, as long as it's a closed shape, I think, as long as it's a closed shape, it will fill it, uh, and it's going to fill it with red. And I'll show you in a second what that looks like. So hopefully, it will do that, and then it fills it. That's quite neat. Very, very easy to fill. So, uh, that, how much time are we? We're over five minutes. I'm going to stop there because I want to try and keep it around about five minutes. But um, so you've learned how to fill using um, the begin fill command and the infant in fill command. You've learned how to resize it and you've learned how to change the color. So that's three things that you've learned um, in this video. So thank you for watching. Um, please like uh, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in the next video. Bye.